all this shit you've heard in the news that, that Michael Clark from Clark Cranes is spreading around is all bullshit. So uh, just just briefly, I was explaining the wind vane for people who don't know. All cranes are designed the wind vane, so when they finish work, they put them in the wind vane because with the winds, uh, obviously when they're in wind vane, they slew whatever way the winds going. So there's no actually, it's no sort of forces against it. It just slews which way the wind blows. So it's, if it's not a wind vane, it just sits in one spot and the wind's battering. And that's exactly what happened down there. But that crane was in wind vane, but the wind vane malfunctioned. And there was a record of that in his uh, log book in the crane. So thank Christ for that. The uh, work safe came down there. The retrieval took, the next day was blowing a gale. We said, well, you know, it'll have to fall over because no one's going up there because the, the jib was in a, in, in a bad state. It could have gone at any minute and luckily it didn't. But, um, so they started retrieval of the crane on the Wednesday, to you? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. And all that went reasonably well. But uh, the guts of this story is protect your own back because no one else is. And this Michael Clark on 3AW, on the papers, blaming the drivers. There was two blokes actually drove it. And thank Christ these blokes did because you know they've documented all the issues they've had with the crane. And so I'm, I dare say there's going to be a lot of lawsuits come out of this, but not against not against our members. Uh, we've got them coming in today to see Mick Sayers from the, from the solicitors. But unless there, you want to say something, uh, or we open up the questions or whatever. I'll probably just um, anyway. Thanks, Longy or George Clooney now because he's in the papers. So, um, but look, the the thing coming out of here, you need to when you go back to your jobs if you've got cranes. You need to be telling the operators, it's good to say, or we'll come and see you guys say there's an issue with the crane. But you've got the paperwork in there, if there is a fucking problem with it, put it down, write it down. The other good thing about these operators, um, they took pictures of that paperwork. WorkSafe's got it, I think, Doc. So um, they've got that paperwork, but just you need to go back to your jobs and tell the boys in the cranes or the women in the cranes that if there is an issue with it, yep, yeah, we need to stop. But the most important thing, write it down, get a picture of it, we'll, we'll make sure someone else knows about it. Because as you know now, this is gonna take, um, it's gonna be a massive investigation, but more importantly, we need to be looking after our workers. And this bloke has got out in the papers, bagged our members, bagged everybody else, but the problem is his machine, not our operators. And I'll tell you what, that's one message that we should be telling our members, it's one message that should be getting out there because, as I said, it's written in the Herald Scum, it's put on free AW. These sort of people absolutely hate this union. They hate our workers, and that's what's getting out there. So the message is the crane was fucked, not the operator, and that's the message we need to be getting out there. Thanks, guys. At the end of the day, this is just another warning, as Alex and I keep saying, you know, another near miss could, could have been anything, anything could have happened. We've had about three bad, real bad accidents with tower cranes and it's been lucky no one's been hurt. It's not going to last forever.